All right, guys, it is halfway to Halloween. I've been trying to get some things straightened up around my house and in my office so I can rearrange things and set it up exactly how I want. And in doing so, I started pulling out all the animatronics from my office and in the other part of the basement here. And I decided to go ahead and do a video for halfway to Halloween about all the animatronics that I presently own because a lot of people ask me how many I have, what's my favorite, things like that. Now, there are two of them that my son actually has at his house that I do not have here right now, and we'll talk about those in a minute. But this is my collection of animatronics so far. Some of them are set up, as you can see back here. Some of them are not. Some of them I have not even set up even once yet. Most of these are Spirit Halloween animatronics, but some of them are from Lowe's. A couple of them are from Party City. Um, a couple of them are from a store called Mark's, and a couple of them were actually given to me. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. I'm going to tell you what each one of them is, and we're going to talk a little bit about them. So let's just start right here with Bubba, man's possessed friend. He was actually one of the most difficult animatronics I've ever put together, and here he is right here. He, I mean, you could take him apart if you want to, but he was such a pain to put together that I'm not going to do so. Now, I did not plug him in, but if we open this up here, we can see Bubba's face right there. I wish that he was in suspended animation with his face pushed out, but he's not. So there's Bubba. And Bubba is one that they keep available on the website and in the stores pretty much year round. So looking at what we have over here to the immediate side of Bubba, we have a couple of them here. The first one is called Twisted Jack. You guys may have seen my video of him. I set him up in the backyard. He's not really an animatronic. He's more of like a static prop. Um, there's a stick that goes down here. You stick him in the ground. He does not move. There is a version of him where his arm like shoots forward, but that is not this one. It's the same prop, only that one is an animatronic. This one, however, is motion activated and sound activated. The light lights up in his face and he starts saying some pretty dang frightening things. He's actually a pretty dang cool prop. Now under him we have Smiling Jack. I have yet to put him together, but basically he is a scary pumpkin guy sitting on a bale of hay. I don't think that bale of hay comes with him. <laughs> um, he's got a shovel. And I believe that when you come up here and you reach for the candy in the bucket down here between his feet, that he like kind of jumps up and swings that uh, that shovel up and down, kind of like Rusty from Spirit Halloween. He's got the chainsaw. I think they pretty much have the same motion. But I'm really looking forward to getting him set up soon so that I can see exactly what he does and show you guys what he does as well. So over below Bubba, we have the Lady of the Grave, and she is one that I have set up. I have a video up on my channel of her. She is pretty dang spooky. She kind of moves back and forth. She has some spooky sounds. I really like her. She reminds me of the Wraith from Spirit Halloween. One day I want to get the Wraith, but I don't have him quite yet. So let's keep on moving here. Now, behind Bubba, we have the Exterminator. My son and I both have this animatronic, and we did a video together, I believe it was on his channel, where we set up the Exterminators together. He has a flamethrower, and he actually has a uh, fog machine that you hook to him. The fog machine does not come with him. But you hook a fog machine to him, he lights up, he starts making phrases, and then he shoots the fog out the front of his gun. It is a really, really cool animatronic. I know it's kind of dark back there and difficult to see him, but if you stay tuned to the channel, you will see I'm going to be setting him up in the near future as well. Now, of course, we can't pass up this little guy down here, the furry brown jumping spider. And that was actually given to me this past season um, by a kid named David. He has his own channel, David's Retail Adventures, I believe it's called. And he works at Spirit Halloween stores in the season. And he gave me that jumping spider. And actually, for some reason, that doesn't seem right. I apologize if someone else actually gave me that jumping spider, but I'm pretty dang sure it was David when I was over at his store in Parma. So up above the jumping spider, we have these three guys that are actually set up. We have Grimm's Box up here. 
we have Grim right here underneath his box, who has been sitting in my office setup for quite a while, as well as the Wacky Mole. And if you've seen any of my recent videos, you may have seen the Wacky Mole wearing this giant pirate hat that I made for him. I just thought it was hilarious, so I stuck it on his head. So below them, we have Sam, which I actually just put up a video about the other day when I was putting him together. And he does come with the burlap sack head and this head right here. And he was pretty easy to put together, one of the easiest ones that I've ever put together. <laughs> He's a pretty small prop. And uh, yeah, he was pretty easy to put together. Grim, as far as I remember, was pretty easy to put together. And so was Wacky Mole. They were not really that difficult at all. So of course we have Sam's box down here and then we have Lil Skelly Bones on top of him. I actually have a video up of putting together Lil Skelly Bones. It seems to me that he was kind of difficult. He was actually more difficult to put together than any of these three right here. But he's an awesome prop. I'm glad I have him. And he's in his box right now. Up above him, we have Mr. Dark, who I just bought recently, and I have not put him together yet because the weather outside has just not permitted it. And he is a very, very tall prop. So he has to be put together outside. We also have the Possessed Pumpkin, who I recently put together as well. He is awesome. He's huge. He's seven feet tall. And I had to do it upstairs in my living room because he is so tall. Next to him, we have the Hauntress, who I also bought recently and I have yet to put together. Um, stick around because I will be putting her together very, very soon here as well. Below her, we have Monty who I also have not put together yet, but I will be putting together in the near future. Next to him, we have The Collector, which I bought just a couple months ago, and I have put him together. So if you want to see that video, that one is up on the channel right now as well. Now down here, of course, we have the Wacky Mole Box, and we have Johnny Punk. Who doesn't love Johnny Punk besides everybody? So anyways, <laughs> I got Johnny's head up here because I couldn't get him back in the box. I got everything else in there except for Johnny's head. So, speaking of heads, the heads that we have up here, you've already seen the alternate rotting pumpkin head of Sam. We also have Michael Myers, and if you notice, his nose is messed up because when I bought him from Lowe's, I accidentally knocked him over. He fell over on the ground face first and busted his nose. At the same time I bought him, I bought Freddy Krueger. I do have videos of both of these up as well. They're not my favorite animatronics ever, but they are pretty cool. They're better than not having a Freddy and Michael prop. But one day I do plan on improving them anyway. So yes, we got Johnny Punk over here. And then of course we have... Crouchy, and this is the original Crouchy head right here, and I do have, of course, the bodies for all these guys, but I have them in these boxes back here because I do not have the original box for Crouchy or Michael or Freddy. So honestly, guys, it feels like I am missing something because... I was sure I had a lot more animatronics than what you see over here. And there are two that are missing from this collection. In the beginning of this video, I told you that my son has a couple of my animatronics. One of them would be Young Crouchy. I not only have this giant Crouchy here that was sent to me by an awesome fan named Marcus, but I do have Young Crouchy as well. And the other one that I have that you do not see right here. I bet you guys can guess because I'm pretty sure you all know what I have, and it is the Nightcrawler. That's right, my friends, the Nightcrawler. <laughs> my son has him right now because he made a video putting him together, and, uh, and one day I will be picking him up again, and I will be doing a video of putting him together on this channel. So guys, thank you for joining me in this little mini tour of my animatronics. I know you guys all love Spirit Halloween and Halloween and Spirit Halloween animatronics and any kind of Halloween animatronics that are produced by anybody, Home Depot, Lowe's, Party City, anybody. Who cares who makes them? They're pretty cool. <laughs> So anyways, guys, stick around because we have a lot of awesome Halloween stuff coming, including this Saturday. We are doing a special Halfway to Halloween Saturday Night Snack in a Movie. I will see you guys then.